What is an NFT? An NFT allows one to prove authenticity and ownership of a digital asset. Non-fungible tokens use blockchain technology. Are NFTs bad for the environment? While blockchain technologies like Bitcoin and Ethereum do require a considerable amount of electricity, there are alternatives. Are there different kinds of NFTs? Yes, common categories include visual art, collectible cards, membership cards, music, video, and tickets, etc. Can NFT art be copied? Screenshots can be taken of NFT art, but the blockchain proves who created the NFT and ownership of the original artwork cannot be copied. This is confusing. Not really. Just like one can take photographs of the Mona Lisa or baseball cards, it is only the original that is considered valuable. Tell me more. Physical art objects can be damaged, stolen, and copied, but many consider NFT art to be much safer and easier to keep. Can you teach me some NFT-specific jargon? Sure. Instead of printing an artwork, NFT artists say minting. Anything else? Another term is gas. This is the fee required to mint your NFT art on the blockchain. How much is gas? If you use Ethereum, gas fees can be around $30 to mint and to sell and purchase NFT art. Alternatives are nearly free. Okay, I wanna try selling NFT art, be kind to the environment and avoid high gas fees. Where do I start? Try Uptick Project. From here on, I will show you how easy it is to sell your first NFT artwork on the Uptick app. Steps include, one, download the app, two, make art digitally or scan analog art, three, get iris and add to your wallet. Four, upload and mint the art. Five, make it available to others. Is there anything else that I should know? Yeah, I should probably mention three or four more things. When you mint the art, you can select to make it a totally original one of one item or you can create a number of unique items, just like a painter releases a limited edition of numbered prints. In many cases, in addition to being able to set a fixed price, you can also sell your NFT art through an auction function. Can an artist mint previously sold analog artworks as NFT art? It is up to the artist or creator. Of course, if the artist sells a one-of-one -one NFT artwork and at a later date mints more of the same, it would be like a painter continuing to sell additional prints from a limited edition. The industry is pretty much self-regulated. If an artist or a creator abuses the system, they will no longer be popular. Some people ask about resolution when scanning analog art. 300 DPI should be fine, but of course, the better quality your work is, the more it should be appreciated. How can I get more information about NFT art? I recommend the NFT podcast, Ars Cryptoctica, available on YouTube and Spotify. Twitter is good too. What are alternatives to Uptick Project? Other platforms include Foundation, Rarible, Refinable, Twincy, Zora, OpenSea, Super Rare, and Known Origin, to name a few. Are there any NFT artists that you recommend I check? I recommend checking Art for Anarchists. The best way to get information about him is at www.artforanarchists.com. Let's have a look at the Uptick app. So this is the website from my phone. You want to download the app. You see those five boxes in the middle. You want the one on the left. It says Iris in yellow. And download the app like you would any other app. 
you might need a test flight on a iPhone, but this is what the app looks like. It's pretty basic, but it does the job. And next you wanna create some digital art. Uh, in this case, I manipulated a photo in GIMP. If you've never used GIMP, it takes a little bit of uh, figuring out, but it's not that difficult. It's free software. And I thought I'd create one more uh, image, one more piece of digital art. In this case, there's a black background and a simple face drawn in white. You can also use a paper and pencil and then uh, scan, scan your analog art, make it digital. But I uh, just thought I'd show a couple examples here. It's free, it's not that hard to use. If you haven't tried it, you might like it. Check it out. All right, so I've got my uh, art created there. Two things. I'm just going to use the cat image uh, from here. You got to get it on my phone. So I sent myself an email with it as an attachment. And then once it's on my phone, I can get it onto the Uptick app, which is only available on one's phone. Yeah, so it's kind of the landscape landscape style. Uh, at the moment, Uptick doesn't really have that option in their app. It doesn't display very well. You'll see that in a minute. From here, I hit a create in top top right corner there. And then there's uh, event cards and collectibles. I chose collectible. It's not an event card. Put in a name, in this case, lost in dreams. And then uh, you can take a photo or choose one on your phone. Choose the one I, I got from the email I sent myself. And like I said, this landscape image doesn't really look that great in the app. I think it'll be better in the future. They'll give you uh, artists uh, more, more options. But uh, I didn't like the look of that. So I decided to, um, to crop it, kind of zoom in, crop, fill that screen. I think it looks more appealing. You're free to do whatever you want. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. So that's uh, that's a PNG file. It's not an NFT yet. Uh, to do that, you uh, you have to mint it. So this is where we do the minting. Uh, you put in the amount, the number number of images you want to create. Uh, you can do one of one. You can do one hundred. It's totally up to you. You can make it free. You can set your price. In this case, I set a price at five hundred iris. And I was thinking, what should I do? Should I should I do like the McDonald's strategy? Sell a lot at low price or sell one at a high price? I changed it back to one. So we'll do one at 500 iris, just uh, just to show you how this works. And you got to put in your password to make make changes like mint or sell, buy. And yeah, it's pretty quick. It takes a few seconds, and then it's minted. And then once it's minted, we it's not available for sale. That's a, another step. You can see it says in process top top right there, and it's done. It's minted. And then you got to click, there's uh, five kind of icons. Click the fourth one from the left. That brings you to the start sale, uh, put in your password again. And wait a few seconds and then it becomes available. You can see here, this is the front page. What's new? I don't see it yet, but uh, three, two, one, boom. It should appear, there we go. Yep, it's quick, it's cheap. It's easy to use. I highly recommend it. So at the, yeah, second from the top, you got the what's new featured creators above that recommended below. Click on it. You can see how big it, you know, see it in the full screen almost. And uh, yeah, that's, that's how you mint NFTs in the Uptick app. Try it out. I think you'll like it. So anything else to talk about? Well, I could show you around the app a little bit. Uh, let's see, I'll click on 
click on some of those what what's new artists i i actually created this uh, gif earlier today now it's the first day that gifts are available on the uptick app and uh check some of the other artists here this one's from the philippines uh, i think it's a fairly young artist and uh they were doing a lot of sketching before, but now it's it's getting more colorful. It's good to see. This is Daniel Bellardinelli. He's a famous, fairly famous outsider artist from New York. He's playing around with NFTs. Art for Anarchists is the most prolific artist on the Uptick platform. Uh, he has numerous NFTs that he sold and uh, will likely continue to make definitely check him out mind-blowing mind-blowing stuff and any more yeah i think there's a chinese artist i wanted to showcase she mainly does sketches she does uh i think she does one sketch a day kind of like a diary and uh you can see here here's the sketches so you're not limited to you only doing digital art. She uses a pen and paper or pencil, you know, old school and then scans it. And that's fine. You can do that if that's what you want to do. All right. Anything else? Oh, I wanted to show the resale, resell, resale feature. So for art for, oh, you can share too on social media, get people interested in what you're selling. And I wanted to show the resale function. So uh, we'll bring up art for anarchists, I think. Oh, you can chat as well. Chat function, say hi to uh, your favorite artist. Your artist can say, thank you for buying my work. It's a really cool app. Where's that resale function? Resale, resale. So, you know, once you buy something, you can try to sell it for a higher price. Like it's a secondary market within the app. Or maybe you buy something and you decide you don't like it so much anymore. You could sell it, use the funds, buy something else, send it out of the wallet, switch it to Bitcoin. You, you can do whatever you want. So yeah, this is the hot resale. These works were already bought by someone and now they're being resold. The price doesn't appear from this view, but if you hit the select button at the bottom, there you go, it's 5,000 iris. Someone's trying to sell this for. I think originally there were three of those and they were selling for 300 iris. So that's a pretty big markup, but uh, it's early days. People are playing around, uh, seeing, seeing how it works. All right, so that pretty much does this video. Um, there is my referral code here. If you wanna help me out, you can enter that when you sign up for Uptick. That would be much appreciated. And thank you for watching. Good luck in the world of NFTs.